Richard, the Greek stock market opened again this morning after a prolonged break during the crisis. Uh, I guess it wasn't, wasn't pretty. Tell, tell me what's happened. No, we weren't expecting it to be pretty. It was down more than a fifth and it, it's been closed for five weeks and a top amongst the hardest hit were the, the big four banks, so Alpha, Eurobank and Piraeus and National Bank of Greece. So pretty harsh hit to the four big banks. Have the big banks said anything at all about what, what's been happening on their balance sheets? They have, but uh, they, they haven't been able to say much. One gets the feeling there's a bit of a coordinated Greek chorus of banks today that the regulators have probably told them what they can and can't say. What they have said is they've reiterated their capital levels at the end of March, which doesn't really help us very much because we don't know what losses are going to have to be um, thrown at that capital and how much they're going to have to absorb. They have um, reiterated their outflows number. They've lost 125 billion of deposits if you take that as their usage of Eurosystem funding. They've talked about their deferred tax assets, which are these funny things that the European Central Bank itself at last, last year allowed them to count towards their tier, common equity tier one capital. And there's, there's a little bit more detail, but unfortunately, the overriding theme is um, we don't really, we can't really tell you what the trouble is that we've seen, and this is going to take at least until the end of the year when there's been a stress test, an asset quality review, capital adequacy is known, and those, those banks would have been recapitalized, we hope. But how much faith will, will we be able to have even then? It's, it's less than a year since the uh, last stress tests were conducted on the Greek banks. And, and those stress tests said that uh, although the banks didn't look good, actually, subsequently, they raised a lot of capital. And, and actually, they would have passed had that capital been taken into account. So it's not so long since stress tests, which are supposed to test for all kinds of scenarios, give them a, a clean bill of health. Can we have more faith in them this time around? I don't think so. And in fact, the, the capitalization of the Greek banks is now just, just over 9 billion euros, which is just over a quarter of the declining and probably still as we speak, falling Athens market capitalization. The real, the real issue here and, and what's, what's being judged, I think, is that this is now the third Eurozone crisis involving Greece, as far as I can count. And we don't seem to be getting any better at fixing things. And a priority in any bailout ought to be getting the banks up and running and solid ASAP. We're not seeing that. This is a fudge over the summer break and then hope we can somehow think it'll be okay by Christmas. I don't buy that for a moment. No surprise then that the shares are down by so much when they reopen today. Richard, thanks very much.